Hello, my name is Brenda Izquierdo and this is my reference video for my user story. I will go over the requirements analysis and design, the code, how can this feature be improved, and two test cases. The user story is archived as CAR 747 in Mingle. The description is as follows. As a faculty member, I would like to be able to access any peer evaluation form so I can assess my students' progress. The acceptance criteria for this user story is faculty can access evaluations at any time and evaluations viewed by faculty must be anonymous. In order to develop this user story, I had to complete the tasks described here, which included learning AngularJS, developing the front end and the back end, and drawing UML diagrams. If we go to the project documentation, we shall find a description of the evaluation subsystem in general. As it is asserted here, the subsystem deals with any function related to evaluations of peers or projects alike. For this user story, we are only going to look at the evaluations of peers. UML diagrams. The use case diagram portrays the acceptance criteria. A faculty member can access peer evaluations and the evaluations must be anonymous. The sequence diagram describes interactions among classes in terms of an exchange of messages. When the faculty member has access to the evaluations display view, he's going to have a drop-down menu from which he can see all the projects associated to his email. The get function will extract all the projects from the project model and return them to the faculty member, who in turn can select one project, and after that, he can select one student in that project. The access evaluation function will retrieve the student from the user model, search for his or her evaluations, and display them to the faculty member. This is the class diagram. As you see, the API router binds the user and project models to the respective services, who are in turn called by the controller and displayed in an HTML page. Now we may go to GitHub repository to see the code. This is the front end for the user story. I am storing the data in a table with the following entries, project, department, first name, last name, and evaluations, which, he, which in every row contains a view button to display that particular student's evaluations. As it was explained in the sequence diagram, the access evaluation method takes the student name as a parameter and returns all the evaluations. This is the backend implementation. Among the matters to be improved is that all evaluations should be stored and called from the database. Since there were not enough evaluations, some of them had to be manually entered for the better display of this feature. Now we're going to see a Sony test case run in the VIP website. This is automated testing made possible by IBM's Rational Functional Tester. The scripts have been previously recorded and what you're seeing is a playback. One of the benefits of RFT is that it provides us with an instantaneous report. During the script recording, a verification point was included. If it passes, it means that the test accomplished its purpose, whether it be a sunny or rainy one. For the rainy test case, the verification point has to pass as well to prove that the functionality being tested has failed. 